Welcome back to Opinion Journal. I'm Mary Kissel. Is the media partially to blame for the botched Obamacare rollout? I've got best of the web today columnist James Taranto joining me to talk about this. Uh, James, uh, Paul Waldman of the American Prospect wrote this, and I quote, Media outlets have been doing a lot of reporting on the problems of the Affordable Care Act rollout. What they haven't done is provided their audience with practical information that could help them navigate the new system. Of course, most Americans don't have anything, don't have to do anything since they have employer provided insurance. But for all the attention we've been paying to paying to the, to the individual market, media outlets haven't done much to be of service. James. Your reaction? Well, Waldman and uh, another uh, left-wing journalist named Timothy Noah are arguing that uh, journalists have failed in their responsibility, this is the term Waldman uses, to uh, give readers, to tell readers how to use the Obamacare website. Now, first of all, my understanding is the damn thing's not usable anyway. But the idea that journalists have a responsibility to provide that sort of information uh, is just kind of appalling. Now, what, what they're calling for is something called service journalism. And what's that? Service journalism is, you know, another term for it is news you can use. Information that's of practical value, like movie listings, uh, restaurant reviews, that sort of thing. Here's, you know, information that you can use as a consumer. Nothing wrong with service journalism as long as it, as long as it uh, lives up to the normal journalistic standards of uh, accuracy and impartiality. But it's not the core journalistic mission. What these guys want, it's not, their complaint is that journalists have not helped Obamacare to be a success. They have a political agenda. They want journalists to be shills for the government. And that's not why I became a journalist. Any self-respecting journalist, no matter how liberal, should find that uh, idea an abomination. It's appalling. Uh, and, and it's also hypocritical, James. I mean, you don't blame the media when a private company fails, when BlackBerry sales fall off a cliff, do you? No, but you would blame the media if the media gave in inaccurate information, uh, hyping a company, uh, hyping a consumer product offering, and making it sound better than it did, which, by the Ways, what a lot of journalists did uh, in the years leading up to the implementation of Obamacare. There was a lot of very bad reporting, uh, not, not in the guise of service journalism, but uh, just uh, because journalists were biased and, uh, and uh, were enthusiastic about this idea or liked Obama or whatever. But that's a separate issue. I mean, that's just bad reporting. What these guys are calling on is something much more sinister. They're basically calling on journalists to act as servants of the government. And that's not the way, that's not what journalists do in America. No, that's what propagandists do. That's China Daily. Best of the Web Today columnist James Taranto. Thank you very much. Thanks.